Tonight, I'm gonna share the top three lessons that I've learned when it comes to managing people. If there's something that has been particularly challenging for me and that I've been focusing on developing myself in this past year, it has been management. This is also something that my mentor discussed with me and he highlighted that there was room for improvement on this particular area in my skill set. And I've had the opportunity to lead a lot of people, to be honest, this past year in different scenarios. So I've made a lot of mistakes through trial and error. I have learned what works, what doesn't work, and the areas exactly where I was falling short. So here are the three most important lessons that I've learned regarding managing teams. One is to set clear expectations. You want to be very clear with the outcome that is expected of whatever it is that you are managing or delegating. Because if not, the other person doesn't know what to aim for. So you have to be clear on the outcome, the expectation, but how to get there or how to achieve that, you ideally want to leave that up to your direct reports. Don't necessarily tell them what to do, but you want to guide them instead. Give them that freedom. As long as they have a clear target to shoot for, let them operate and let them arrive at the destination their own way. And then you can check in with them and assess the approach that they took. So that's number one, being clear about the expectations. Number two is setting clear deadlines. You need deadlines because Parkinson's law, Work expands to fill the time assigned to it. And if you don't assign a due date for a project, it's probably going to be either left off till last minute or forgotten because it wasn't prioritized properly. There wasn't a date assigned for which that project needed to be completed. So deadlines is extremely important because you have to have accountability systems. And one way to enforce accountability is to have a date by which results are expected, or at least progress is expected to be made. So that's number two, deadlines. Be very clear with your deadlines. And number three is having one, just one person responsible. And this one applies mostly when you're managing big teams and you are managing a project or delegating a task. One mistake that I used to make a lot in the past is I would address, let's say two people, or two of my direct reports, and I would give the instruction of this needs to be done. But I mentioned two people and when it came time to check in on the project, so-and-so would come back and their excuse would be, oh, I thought person B was supposed to be handling that. And then person B says, oh, I thought person A was gonna do that. So I learned that it's best to avoid miscommunication and to be clear, to so always just assign one person for one, anything. You want to have one person responsible for an outcome. Tie the outcomes to a person and of course to a deadline. So it should be one person responsible for something. Could be a project, a part of a project, whatever. But be very clear about it because having multiple people responsible, that only causes confusion and it gives people as way, a way to escape responsibility and not have to hold themselves accountable for maybe not fulfilling a deadline or their end of the work. So very important. To summarize, those are the three things that I've learned that just if you get those three things right, especially in your communication, whether it's written or when you're addressing your team on a meeting, so number one is being very clear on the outcome, what is to be expected. So develop a sales strategy by end of week. There we have the outcome and the deadline. So end of week this Friday, the latest. And then Johnny, you're gonna be responsible for delivering a sales strategy by end of, of week. There you have the three key components to effective management. The rest can add on to that or complement, but those are the most important because that's, those are the ones that enforce accountability and are clear in communication. They don't confuse your team members, don't confuse your direct reports. So it's been an interesting 
experience for sure having the opportunity to lead all the way from one person to 12 people which has been definitely an experience and of course glad to be able to learn on the way and essentially build a plane as i fly it but understanding those three things has allowed me to be a much better leader more effective communicator and ensure that the projects that i'm delegating or managing actually get completed and move forward so that's the lesson for today really hope you enjoyed this video wanted to start sharing some more business videos about what i'm doing or lessons that i've acquired as i'm working on myself and my business so let me know what you guys think on the comments below if you made it this far as always thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one